Good morning, my earth sign collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. Earth signs, what the fuck? I was drawn to them cards first thing. Shit. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Uh oh. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Y'all, you see me? I wanted to grab that damn deck. Okay, Earth signs. Just a little quick check in. Uh. This can resonate whenever you get the fucking video, right? Whenever you see the reading. Uh, what you got from my Earth sign collective spirit? Y'all definitely wanted the right or weight, so we old schooling it here. We're old schooling it here. I say that as the school buses go by. Uh, my little road here, a lot of them bypass the main road to get here to turn up. So school bus. Education. Some of y'all working on your education, right? Maybe some of y'all are catching the bus. Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What you got, spirit? What you got? What you got from my earth signs? Please and thank you, spirit. Ooh, you know what? This one wanted to... These two. Let's take a look. I'm going to let you all see. What do we got? I think it's good. Is it good? It is good. Uh, well, kind of a mix here. Some of you all, no, it's good. You're moving away from a toxic situation. It's like you're moving, you're, you're, uh, normally I would want to put it this way because he's got them five swords on him, but I'm really feeling that a lot of you are leaving one toxic situation to kind of get some healing. You're, mo you're, <sighs> you're moving away from the one that likes to throw the daggers. How about that? Okay? You're like escaping from this energy. Uh, willingly choosing to walk away from that. Right? Walking away from the one that likes to throw the daggers. You pick them daggers up. Whoever this uh, energy was here that liked to throw daggers and put others before you or just make you feel like shit, you picked up them daggers and you're moving the fuck away from that. You're like, oh, hell no. Not no more. Uh, some of y'all could be dealing with the air sign. Uh, uh, what? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Right? Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, but some of you, are, you're just moving away from the deception and the bullshit. 57 can mean something. 75. Goes to 12. Uh, and I've been saying 12, 12, 12 all day today. So 12s go to 3s. 33s. Uh, I'm charging the phone now as we're recording, and it was at 33% when I started. A lot of you keep mastering, keep doing the work, earth signs. Keep doing the work, earth signs. Don't get fucking lazy now, especially if you're moving away from deceptive energies. Look, I wanted to show up again with the five of swords. You're looking back on that shit, and the emperor in reverse. Look at this shit. I love it. And y'all didn't pay no attention, so that's just interesting that wanted to show up. <sighs> Look at that. Because a lot of you are looking back. Definitely the emperor here in reverse, dealing with a, a very masculine, dominant energy that was uh, just a dick. <laughs> okay, uh, work, love, life on that, however it resonates. It could have been a lover, could have been a boss, could have been a friend, could be your daddy, your uncle, your baby daddy. I don't know who the fuck this emperor is, but you're like, fuck you. Mm-mm. You've picked up the sword, so you've taken any 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 power or control that this emperor energy has over you. You done grab that shit. And you see they leave two swords behind, right? The two swords behind. But I'm really feeling when you uh how do I want to put this? It's like factoring into your healing process. Cause of that two of swords, I'm really kind of thinking that three of swords. You're you're gonna do the healing from this. However this person affected you, okay? Uh, from my masculines, this could very well be a feminine energy that was just acting very masculine. You know, they had their masculine energy going. Um, a, a very dominant, right? Very controlling, very manipulative, uh, regardless of the sex. But I love the fact you all are getting out of that fucking energy. Uh, Earth signs. And some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a fire sign there with that emperor in reverse, okay? 
you got three of pentacles in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, and the page of cups. You're moving on to better offers. It's like you know, and for a lot of you, this could be a contractual relationship or just a, a business partner. Some kind of, you, you were dealing with this energy, and now you're, you've are you removed yourself from it. So, work love life on that, right? If it was a shitty job situation, you were dealing with a dominant boss that wasn't good, you're getting the fuck out of there. If it was a relationship, a close tie, you're getting the fuck out of there, right? Three of Pentacles could be about a divorce. It's, it's, it's severing ties and connections with people that you know you cannot work with anymore. Uh, for some of you, that could just even be in your personal life. Because I'm drawn to the fact that this emperor here with this nine of cups and this page of cups energy, this uh, this person right here definitely had some control over you. It doesn't necessarily have to be like love, a love relationship, folks. I mean, it can be, but I, I feel with the cups energy there, this person is very manipulative. So if they didn't want to give before, uh, they may try to come in and try to give a little bit or try to show some affection or try to show some like kindness. For some of you, I'm feeling this is like kindness. Uh, so if they were like a cold-hearted prick or a cold-hearted bitch, they might try to come in and try to show you a softer side of themselves. But it's page energy, and I think you're just going to see right through it. You're going to be like, well, it's a little too fucking late now to try to come in and... and and, like, show some kindness. That's really what I'm getting on that. Someone's wanting to come in and maybe try to show some kindness or show some compassion. But it's, like, too little, too late, and it's not even enough, right? Oh, my God. You know what, I, you know what line popped into my head? Uh, remember in Still Magnolias when, uh, oh, yeah, um, Sally Field's husband? Does something nice for the for Shirley MacLaine's character. And she's like, oh, what a gentleman. He probably takes the dishes out of the sink before he pisses in it. That's, that line wanted to pop into my head with this emperor. Okay, so take that however the fuck that resonates. But that's totally the line that I got. Like, oh, he's such a gentleman. He probably takes the dishes out of the sink before he pisses in it. Okay, so that could resonate for somebody. But that's the line that popped into my head. Okay, two of pentacles. The lovers, the chariot, the lovers in reverse, the chariot in reverse, the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, with this, a lot of you could have struggled with this decision. Okay? Because with the lovers here in the four of wands, again, this doesn't always have to be a love relationship. This could have just been like a close working partnership or a close friendship. Could have been family, uh, uh, an uncle, a dad, a grandpa, a cousin, a masculine energy that you just had to move away from, pull your energy from. Not a very nice person, okay? And it's like spirit led. Spirit told you you had to get rid of this person. With the chariot in reverse. Because it's like no matter how you try to build or move forward with them, there's always continual roadblocks. Spirit was like saying, no, this isn't who you need around you, you know. So the longer you dicked around, you just kept hitting the walls with this person, right? You just kept always coming up with, uh, with opposition. Spirit was like, no, this isn't who you need to be fucking dealing with now. Get over it, air signs. It's very interesting, though, that oh, he's such a gentleman. He takes the dishes out of the sink before he pisses in it, okay? <laughs> Whatever the fuck, guys and gals, I was drawn to R-E-S-P-E-C-T in reverse. So this person didn't respect you either. So this is a person that didn't respect you, couldn't, uh, didn't want to see you as being their equal, right? Could have been very demeaning, which is why with that Knight of Cups in reverse and that Page of Cups energy, this person may try to come in and try to show you some affection or kindness, and you're just going to be like, what the fuck? But you're releasing from that. Now, where you're going, I don't know where the fuck you're going, uh, Earth Signs. That's up for you all, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorns. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. That's right. That change has to start with you. You have to decide when you're going to stop letting people treat you like shit. You're, you're the one that has to decide when you're going to stand up to, to yourself or for yourself. 
in situations and not let other people control you, especially if they don't want to show you the respect that you deserve. Earth signs. Do we want one more card on this? I like to keep these kind of short and simple. Uh, let's see what magic's at play. Let's see what spirit has in store, okay? Spirit, anything else you want to throw on this? Ooh, justice. <clears throat> Five of wands and justice in the upright. So a lot of you, this person could be trying to start some conflict. As you pull your energy away, this person could try to show their ass in one way, shape, or form. Okay, justice there in the upright and the five of wands. So be leery of conflict. Again, we get the five of swords in reverse and this five of wands energy. So this could be a person that might try to retaliate some shit, right? They might try to come in with a false offer to um, kind of control the situation here. With those two cards wanting to come out. But justice in the upright, the person that's in the wrong is going to get their karma. And the person that's in the right is going to be fine. Yeah, the two of pentacles here in reverse. Whatever the hell this person's trying to do to manipulate a situation, it isn't going to work. The high priestess in reverse there with the, the knight of wands in reverse. Yeah, if this person tries to throw some negativity uh, uh, your way, some bad juju, some bad mojo, whatever the fuck, it ain't going to work. It's like, uh, whatever the hell this person does, they're going to get their shit back. Because you, and with the five of swords there, with that seven of swords in reverse, you've taken any ammo this person has. So, it's like, uh, they have no control over you anymore, right? If they had, uh, uh, lies or secrets or something like that, they could always hold over on you. Yeah, they don't have that control anymore. And for a lot of them, they could be getting in that energy of wanting to show their ass because they can't control you anymore, right? That emperor in reverse is a person who doesn't like to lose control. They don't like to, to lose uh, people they have control over, right? An emperor's kingdom falls when the people start refusing to listen to them. So earth signs, a lot of you are dealing with that type of energy. So... You're starting with the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, right? You're going to make the decisions to leave who you need to leave and not let other people have control over you anymore, not be able to manipulate you. But that person might not go out quietly. So if they come in and try to make any half-ass apologies or any kind of attempts to show like emotion, if they want to try to show you that they have a heart or act like they're kind, it's probably just to disguise that they're getting ready to, to, to try to show their ass. But any, anything they try to retaliate with, any kind of negative comeback they try to show up with, it isn't going to work. It's like this person's getting their karma. Their first karma was when you pulled your energy back and they ain't got control over you. And the next bit of karma is going to come when they try to fuck with you. <laughs> it's like they don't want to let you go and spirit's going to be like, you let them go or, you know, uh, you're not going to like the consequences. There you go, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I love that energy for you. Peace, love, and light.